Mr. Back from his $80,000 vacation, which he got for free. He said, like most Canadians, friends welcomed him for that vacation. He took two, not one, but two private jets paid for by the taxpayer, uh, burning 100 tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. He wants to tax the heat and the food of Canadians. Did he pay the full carbon tax on each of the 100 tons of emissions that he put into the atmosphere as part of his $80,000 vacation? Warming climate causes droughts. Droughts damage crops. Damage crops increase the food of gro the cost of groceries. And yet, the Conservative Party cannot even agree on whether or not climate change is real. Well, he says the greenhouse gas emissions are driving up grocery prices. He put 100 tons of those emissions in the atmosphere for his personal vacation. This is high tax, high flying, high carbon hypocrisy. Meanwhile, Canadians in Edmonton are facing, were facing minus 50 degree temperatures on which they were paying carbon taxes just to, to heat their homes and stay alive. Given that he gives himself a free vacation at other people's expense. Will you at least allow Canadians to heat their homes without his tax? Uh, we, uh, he chose to delay the passage of Bill C-59, uh, which is also hurting his own caucus. That's right. Does a member for Battleford's Lloyd Minster now suddenly oppose maternity leave for adoptive parents? Surely the member for Cumberland Colchester won't back down on his advocacy to remove the GST on therapy and counseling oh. services. Justin Trudeau's public stance and actions highlighting a paradox between his advocacy for individual responsibility and his indulgence in luxurious vacations and notable carbon emissions, all while supporting a carbon tax. This contrast raises questions about the consistency and authenticity of Trudeau's leadership. A piece emphasizes the importance of evaluating leaders based on their actions compared to their advocated policies, with economic concerns being prioritized. It discusses Pierre Polievre's challenge to Trudeau's impact on Canadians, particularly regarding severe weather conditions and increasing carbon taxes. The focus should shift towards skepticism regarding the implications of carbon taxes and their broader impact on climate change initiatives, encouraging scrutiny of policies and fostering discourse on their effectiveness.